degraded. The stench from the human parts was repulsive. The recovered parts, which include kidney, heads, intestines, livers, and others, journalists were told, had been preserved since the suspects were picked up by main of the special anti-robbery squad. One of the officers had posed as a buyer, and a human head was going to be sold to him for 120,000 naira before the cops moved in. They were arrested from one village called Joju in the state. We picked interest in this because we have uh, of recent recorded incidents of people disappearing without being traced. And uh, we hope that uh, with the arrest of these uh, criminals, we should be able to get to the root of some of these disappearances, actually. Because I wouldn't know how somebody will uh, prefer to deal on human parts as if he's selling spare parts of uh, motorcycles or these things. Essentially, that is why we brought their faces out. Because uh, most of the human parts recover from them are fresh. The gang members are a grave digger, buyer, and a seller. They explain their roles. In the past four years, I've bought human heads only for 10,000 naira from her. I did do for something. When we need to dig a new grave, we exhume an old corpse and cut off the head. All I do is dig grave for them for 3,000 naira, but I'm aware he sells human parts from the cemetery. The only woman in the gang who specializes in selling the human parts was said to have chopped off a piece of the human flesh and ate in a bit to convince investigators that what they saw was ordinary meat and not human flesh. I've been selling for two years and I sold only 10 human heads. We shred the heads into tiny bits for herbalists.